Hello everyone and welcome back to another more commentary centered video. Today I'm going to be talking about my dream job. And I'm sure a lot of the people watching this are thinking, Brad, it's, you make YouTube videos. Isn't YouTube your dream job? And yeah, there is some truth to this, but there's a multitude of other things I would like to get to. YouTube just happens to be the easiest and most open place to start. And the fact of the matter is, is that if you can grow on YouTube, you can pretty much go do whatever you want. I mean, you look at a lot of other YouTubers that go on and do things like music or boxing, especially most recently. It opens up a lot of doors for you, being able to have that influence on YouTube and being able to do that full time. And if the opportunity ever arose itself to become a full time YouTuber, I would snatch that within seconds. But it definitely isn't something that I would be looking into doing my entire life. I mean, it's kind of hard to imagine myself making videos until I'm about 40 years old. I don't want to, I don't really want to do that. I would like to dive into a lot of other things. I have other dream jobs that I would like to fulfill. YouTube, as I had said before, is just the easiest place to start for me personally. I had always really admired YouTubers and I had always wanted to model myself after them, especially when it comes to my humor. If I was able to have the influence as them, I would feel content. But at the same time, I had also looked up to many other people, especially within the music industry and the fighting industry, specifically UFC and hip hop. So besides YouTube, I would also really love to become a, either a professional fighter or maybe even a hip hop artist. But all these dreams are just that dreams and me trying them almost seems super dependent on me making it on YouTube but what does it take to get big on YouTube well if you listen to any other youtuber they'll tell you its consistency and following along with trends and I mean the fact of the matter is is I'm not gonna do this unless I'm having fun with it the fact of the matter is is I'm not trying to clickbait people I'm not trying to see YouTube as a quick dollar but I'm really just trying to have fun with it I've had multiple attempts at YouTube in the past and I have just stopped when I stopped having fun now I've been on this platform for a long time just sort of watching and observing and one of the biggest things that I see on this platform is people that just sort of view YouTube as a quick dollar and a lot of these people make it big and I don't disrespect those people, I'm not trying to throw shade. I think that's just one of the things to note when you're starting YouTube to have fun with it. If you later on see it as a quick dollar, if you're ever trying to do it full time, I mean that's just the grind. I think that ends up being the case with most YouTubers and if I ever end up making it big on the platform then I'm probably going to see it in the same light as my job and a means of making money. And that's also something that I've seen a lot on the platform is users judging some of the creators for some of the tactics that they do to make more money within their videos or to sell more merch. And I've never completely understood that because at some point YouTube does become a job for some people. And why would you judge them for wanting to make more money? It, it never really made sense to me. It's, it's a business. These sorts of things do become a business at some point and you have to appeal to your audience to make money. That is your job. And while I can't say that I wouldn't do the same thing that some of these YouTubers do because I will agree that some of them are shameless, I would like to think that I would try to change my content or try to step in a different direction and that's where the idea of other jobs come in. I would like to be able to expand my horizons and be able to try different things such as professional fighting and music. But all of that so far is just talk. Right now all I'm doing all I'm doing is I'm just a guy. I'm making YouTube videos in my room. I'm chilling. I'm having fun with it. But the sad truth is is once I'm done, that's that's it. I'm done. Once I stop having fun making YouTube videos, that will be the end of it. And you hear a lot of creators tell you to upload every day and to push through that sort of thing every day and to just shit out content, but I really don't think that's what you should be doing for your own mental health. I don't think anybody should be releasing content that they're not happy with and that they're not happy making. I was listening to the Mom's Basement podcast and I had heard both Keemstar and FaZe Banks pretty much tell you to keep on that grind, to keep doing it, and someday you'll eventually make it. And Colossal is Crazy, otherwise known as Clown, pretty much gave you the best advice, the best real advice you can get, and that was try it for a couple years if you can, and at some point you are going to need to stop because there is other things that are better to focus on. And that's just the thing, there are real world priorities that are more important to focus on. I've heard stories about, specifically one story about this one guy who had quit his job and he was uploading, or, or he, I don't think he was uploading YouTube videos, but he was streaming and he was doing it every day and his wife left him and he was completely broke because his streams weren't popping off like he thought it would because he thought, or he had the message in his head that if he did it every day and he stayed on that grind consistently that someday he would make it and that's just not the truth. There is a lot of luck involved in this. 
And in my opinion, that's some of the worst advice that YouTubers give their audience is that there are tactics to this and as long as you grind and you shit out content that you will make it big someday. But personally, I don't believe that's the case. But I mean, who am I? I'm just a guy with 22 subscribers. I don't know what it takes to make it on this goddamn platform. <laughs> But regardless of that, I still don't think that that's the proper message to send to your audience, especially when you have a large audience, when you tell them that if they dedicate their lives to this thing that they'll make it big someday, I, I think that just sends a really bad message to especially the younger, more impressionable audience, where they will put off things like school or homework to make YouTube videos. And maybe in some more extreme cases, guys like me would put off work or their social lives or their girlfriends, things like that. And I can even use myself as an example with this. When I tried to start YouTube, it took up a lot of my free time. It's something that I noticed immediately. Luckily, I had the free time to spare. I wasn't really doing much with it, especially with my girlfriend recently starting school. My free time was amplified, and I don't like it when I don't do anything in my free time. It does make me feel like shit, and I feel like YouTube did make it pretty productive. So if I have any advice to give to anybody that wants to start YouTube, is just do it in your free time. And with YouTube taking so much of my free time, there's a lot that goes into it, like time management. I do want to increase my upload schedule, but of course I need to work on my time management to do that. Doing YouTube consistently is one of the things that gets you big on the platform, that's for sure. That is one of the tactics that every YouTuber will tell you, but there are means to do it in. You need to have time management and you need to do these things properly and not take away from other things to just do YouTube. And although I say being consistent is one of the things that gets you big on the platform, I also want to be clear in saying that it's not a guarantee. I mean, I obviously can't say 100% because, <laughs> like I had said before, who am I to speak? I'm, I'm not big on the platform, I'm really not the one to give advice on this, but I feel like it, it just it definitely depends on your luck. You can't just upload every day and get a million views by doing that. You can't just trick the algorithm into thinking that you're going to be the next big thing. And if you're gonna do YouTube every day, at least make sure it's content that you're proud of and that you're happy with. It seems like most people just think that the algorithm looks for consistent uploads and trendy thumbnails and trendy titles, but make videos that are good. So many people just end up shitting out content that is basically regurgitated trends. Things that aren't really that interesting. Things that, well, kind of suck. <laughs> One of the examples I can say of this would be like the 3am challenge when every YouTuber was doing it at the time and a lot of small YouTubers were trying to pick up on this trend and they just started shitting out these 3am videos abusing clickbait and it, it obviously didn't make them look good and most YouTubers didn't get anywhere with it unless you're that one guy that blew up from it. I don't remember his name but I'm going to put the video up there. Now I've clearly gotten off topic with the original topic being that I wanted to talk about my dream jobs, uh, but I sort of just started rambling and honestly that's kind of what I wanted to happen. Back before Leafy is here was banned off of the platform, he was making these videos where he would talk about what was in the thumbnail for maybe about 10 seconds and he would just sort of ramble on about whatever was on his mind and honestly I kind of felt like I wanted to make the same kind of content. I know I'm kind of copying Leafy is here, but... Again, if you're going to make YouTube videos, you might as well make something you enjoy making, and honestly, rambling like this and posting it online, that's, that's something I am interested in making, and I have a lot of fun doing it. And I feel like me rambling on like this definitely gives whatever audience I have a better sense of who I am as a person rather than what they see in my videos, because it's definitely a known fact that YouTubers act differently when they're on camera and when they know that they're making a video, but... I, I like this format where it's just my personality coming out and I talk about whatever the fuck I want to talk about and you listen. In fact, if you're anything like me, you're probably not even listening right now. You just have me on as background noise because that's really all YouTube is for me. It's, it's just background noise and maybe sometimes you pick something up that's kind of funny. And to be honest, I'm perfectly content with being that person that's just put on for background noise. I like being that soothing voice that calms you down while you're doing your homework or while you're trying to fall asleep. So if you're that person that has me on as background noise while you're just doing something else, I'm talking to you. I'm talking to you specifically. How you doing, buddy? I guess really the entire idea of this video was to show you more what I have in store, what I have in mind when I'm making all my YouTube videos. It's really just a hobby and I'm having a lot of fun doing it. In fact, my last video or one of my older videos, the Dragon Ball Fighters video that I most recently did, it was honestly one of the most fun videos I had making and I feel like the analytics reflected it. It's one of my best performing videos with both watch time, average view duration, and views. 
And to me, that's not something I hear about a lot. I always hear big creators tell you it's about consistency, it's about grinding, and it's about constantly making trendy videos. But honestly, I, I, that's not what I think it is. I think it's more so about having fun. I think that's what it really takes to make it on this platform. I, I don't know if I will make it. I don't know if I will ever make it. But I think that it's the best step in the right direction. Have fun making your videos and be proud of your work and the viewers are more than likely have fun watching it. And to be honest with the content that got me into making videos, it was the same feeling. I could tell that the people I was watching were having fun and, and they liked making the video and it, it was a project. It's something that I think that they were proud of. Obviously I cannot read the mind of these creators, but it's just my interpretation of their content. And so regardless of whether or not I end up making it big on this platform and it does become a thing that I can do as a job, I can still step away and say I had fun doing it. And I think I became closer with a lot of my friends that I make content with because of my videos. And I genuinely feel as if making videos was a positive change in my life, especially with how I use my free time and how productive it makes me feel. But I think I'm going to end this long rambling session here. If you do like these videos, leave a comment. Let me know that you like them because... I'm always kind of iffy with making these more commentary-centered videos. Leave a like if you enjoyed it, and if you like me, if you liked what I had to say here, maybe hit, maybe consider hitting that subscribe button. Maybe consider smashing that motherfucking subscribe button, alright? And I will see you all in the next video. Peace.